Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Power Is Now. My name is Eric Frazier. It's a beautiful day in Southern California, a great day to talk about real estate and about affordable housing. Today is part three of the affordable housing series with the Golden State Finance Authority and Carolyn Sansuri, Marketing Director. Folks, we've been having an incredible time learning about uh, incredible programs. In fact, one in particular, the Platinum Program. And today, we'll be talking about the Open Door Program. And I'm excited about it because it provides even more money to help you buy a home. As a real estate professional, we're always looking for tools and resources to help our clients. And I'm certain as a first-time home buyer, today, 2021, you may have owning a home as your number one resolution. Well, today you're going to learn about the Open Door Program. Again with us, Carolyn Sansari. Welcome, Carolyn, to The Power Is Now. Thank you, Eric. I'm glad to be here. I'm actually very excited about today's discussion about the Open Doors Program, how we're going to get into its features, its benefits to home buyers, how the program works, and how they can apply. Carolyn, again, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us and to participate in this five-part series. And uh, part one was really uh, informative, educational, and uh, part two was even more uh, educational because we focused on the Platinum Program. Now, for the sake of those who uh, did not watch part one or two, uh, would you mind taking uh, just a few minutes and giving us kind of a high level overview of the Platinum Program and Golden State. Absolutely. Well, the Platinum Program is our most popular program right now, and it's kind of lumped into seven key benefits. The first one being that it provides financial assistance up to 5% of the loan amount that can be used for down payment and closing costs. The program isn't limited to first time home buyers and it has very flexible income limits. Uh, also, it's available on a variety of different mortgage loan types, whether that's governmental loans or conventional financing. A variety of different property types can be used or purchased. And the down payment assistance is forgiven after three years and in some situations and some public uh, safety and education occupations, the down payment assistance is forgiven on day one, it's a gift. Those are kind of the key structures of the program. It's an excellent way for somebody to purchase with little to no money out of pocket. Wow, Carolyn, every time I hear you lay out the benefits of this program, uh, it just excites me because I'm all about helping people become homeowners. And uh, that's my commitment. That's my profession. I love what I do. And I love working with organizations like the Golden State Finance Authority that's also committed to the same thing. And the Platinum Program is a phenomenal program, folks. So thank you for that high-level overview. Now, for those of you who did not catch the uh, part two of this series, please find it. You can find it here on our website, thepowersnow.com. You can find it on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. Listen to the Platinum Program. It's an awesome program. Now, also, if you would like more information, you want to meet with Carolyn or myself, go to neverrentagain.com neverrentagain.com and then register uh, let us know what you're up to and uh, if you would like to actually apply for the program you can start it there you want to schedule a time to meet with me or Carolyn you can also start it there at neverrentagain.com but well, folks get ready we're about to talk about the open door program even more money and more assistance hang in there we'll be right back right after this commercial break Want to keep up with the current developments happening in the world of real estate? The Real Estate Roundtable, hosted by Eric L. Frazier, is a show you do not want to miss. The show features a panel of VIP agents who are passionate about helping people. It is what they do best. They discuss today's hot topics, latest market updates and trends. The panel also conducts interviews with prominent figures in the industry. New episode every Friday live on Facebook and replay on the Power Is Now YouTube channel. And we're back. For those of you just joining us, welcome to The Power Is Now, 
affordable housing series with the Golden State Finance Authority. With me today is Carolyn Sansuri, Marketing Director for the Golden State Finance Authority. And folks, uh, I have just enjoyed this series so far. Today is part three of this affordable housing series. And we're gonna be talking about the Open Door Program. This is one of their newest programs that is providing even more down payment assistance and even more flexible guidelines. Carolyn, again, thank you so much for your commitment to homeownership, your advocacy, and for being with us today. Thank you, Eric. I'm very happy to be here. Getting out there and educating home buyers is so important. Talking to our real estate agents. So this series, especially today's segment is gonna be great. Carolyn, I really appreciate your time today. And I agree that education and getting out there, educating consumers about down payment assistance and homeownership is so important, especially now uh, with so many things happening in the world and the need to own a home now is perhaps uh, I don't know if there's ever been a better time to own a home with interest rates so low and the opportunity so great. So again, thank you. Why don't we start with um, talking about the major differences uh, between the Platinum Program and the Open Door Program uh, so our audience can really understand why now is the time to buy. Sure, Eric, I'd be happy to do that. You know, these down payment assistance programs are both serving the same purpose, helping people to purchase a home sooner than they thought maybe they could because they're not having to come in with tens of thousands of dollars in down payment and closing costs. But there are some differences between the two programs. And so today, looking at the Open Doors program, what we're gonna see is one, the credit requirements are a bit more flexible. Two, there's more money available for the assistance for down and for closing costs in this open doors program. And then three, the most significant difference is that there are some repayment requirements around the down payment assistance that we can get into. Now that we've talked about the major differences between the two programs, let's do an overview of the open doors program. The open doors program combines a 30 year fixed rate mortgage with financial assistance that can be used to cover down payment, closing costs, any of those associated costs involved in purchasing a house. And the assistance is available up to 7% of the loan amount. And we know even in today's market, it is such a challenge for people to save up tens of thousands of dollars for down payment. We're seeing it with millennials. We're seeing it with all different generations, all different ethnic groups. That is the biggest challenge facing home buyers in California. And sometimes that means that they're putting off home purchase until they can save up that money. Um, and sometimes people even have money to put down, but they don't realize that accessing a down payment assistance program like Open Doors can actually just provide more money for them to lower their loan amount and end up with an even lower monthly payment. Here are the top six features of the Golden State Finance Authority's Open Doors program. One, financial assistance up to 7% to use for down payment and closing costs. Two, Home buyer doesn't have to be a first time home buyer to qualify. Three, flexible income limits. Low to moderate income people can still qualify for down payment assistance. Four, various different types of mortgage loans are available. Government loans as well as conventional financing is available. Five, there are various property types and units that can qualify. Six, there are flexible terms on the down payment assistance itself. Carolyn, thank you for that great overview. I love the top six features of the Open Door program and the comparison you did of the major differences between the Platinum program and the Open Door program. Now, folks, we're about to get into the nitty gritty, as they say, get into the details of each of these top six features. And we're going to start with number one. So, Carolyn, you said 7% down payment assistance. That is a lot of money. It really is. It's enough to cover the minimum required down payment and still have some money to help with closing costs. The maximum amount of down payment assistance is 7%, but that amount does depend on the type of loan that the person qualifies for, whether they go with governmental financing or they go with conventional financing. Now, folks, if you want the details of that uh, you need to talk with a loan officer 
And in addition to being uh, the host of The Powers Now, I'm also a vice president and mortgage advisor with First Bank. My license number is 461807. And the views and opinions that I express in this show are my own and not necessarily representing First Bank. But First Bank does this program. We are a partner with the Golden State Finance Authority. And I can get into the details of this uh, assistance and how it applies to various programs like government versus conventional. Now, Carolyn, um, does this also uh, include seller assistance? Because with that 7%, you do have enough money to um, cover the down payment and probably most of the closing costs. But this program doesn't preclude the seller uh, from assisting as well, providing assistance for closing costs. No, that is, that's correct. If you can... Uh, obtain some seller assistance. I believe up to 6% is allowed. Um, that's another great way of helping them to reduce that mortgage loan amount or put towards the closing costs so that they have less out of pocket. Wow, that's really incredible. And uh, folks, that makes for a no money down deal. You have money for the down payment. You have money for part, if not all of the closing costs. And what you may be short, the seller is able to contribute up to 6%. It's an amazing a benefit in this program. So now let's go on to number two. And that is, you do not have to be a first time home buyer. Carolyn, really, most, most down payment assistance programs from the county, the state, and even other nonprofits require that you are a first time home buyer. Yeah, we see that a lot. And I think that is one of the most important things that we've built into our down payment assistance programs is that flexibility that you could have been a home buyer in the past um, and now are purchasing a primary residence. You could even own a home today as long as the one that you're buying and utilizing the down payment assistance program for is the one that you're going to be moving into as your primary residence. Wow, Carolyn. I mean, let me be clear on this, folks, because I, I want you to get what she's saying. First, you don't have to be a first-time home buyer, and the legal definition of a first-time home buyer is that you have to not own a home uh, in the last three years to be a first-time home buyer. And many down payment assistance programs require that you cannot own a home in the last three years. Carolyn is saying on this program that you do not have to be a first-time home buyer, but not only that that you can own a home right now and you can buy another property using this program as long as it's going to be your primary residence. That, Carolyn, is unbelievable. An ideal yeah. situation, especially for those who need to move up and they want to retain their property or those who want to downsize and they either want to retain or sell their property. Carolyn, I love this program and the flexibility uh, that it uh, allows you know, people who own homes already to either move up or move down. Let's talk about number three, and that is the flexible income limits or that you can be a low to moderate income buyer. In fact, some programs don't even have limits. So can you share more about that? Yeah, absolutely. I think this is one of the biggest myths that I see when I'm out talking to real estate agents and home buyers, they think that in a down payment assistance program is only available to people that have low income um, and no, maybe no resources of their own. And that's not true with the Golden State Finance Authority's Open Doors program. We don't actually set an income limit for the FHA or VA loans. Um, so that means if somebody's qualifying for an FHA loan or a VA mortgage, we don't set like a maximum income that, for them to qualify. And on the USDA loans, we defer to the limits that USDA themselves set. And there's a website where they can go and look at a property and see whether they qualify and, and whether there's applicable income limits. But by us not setting income limits on those government loans, that means that people, whether they're in the low income bracket they are around the, the area median income or the average income in their area, or even above it in the moderate income range, they can qualify for the down payment assistance program. However, a home buyer can qualify for the down payment assistance program with conventional financing as well. They are not limited to doing a government loan. With conventional financing, we utilize a Freddie Mac 30-year fixed rate mortgage 
And we do set a maximum income limit on that conventional loan, but don't get too worried about that. It's actually quite high. It's somewhere around 140 to 160% of the area median income, which means the, the, the limit is gonna be in the moderate income range and anyone under that can qualify. We actually publish the income limit by the county in which the property is located and it's listed on our website. So you can go to the website, select the Open Doors program, click on the link to see the income limits, use the drop down to select a county and you'll see what the very maximum amount of income that can be made to allow somebody to qualify for a conventional loan in the Open Doors Down Payment Assistance Program. And I think for ease of today's conversation, you and I have picked a few counties to take a look at. So we segmented out Northern California and I just wanted to point out a few of them to show you how high that conventional financing income limit is. Um, Alameda, for example, up to $230,220. You can still qualify for the Open Doors Down Payment Assistance Program. In Sacramento, the limit is 156,780. Solano County, 171,720. And there's a few more up on the screen. In Southern California, those limits are gonna follow the same, same idea, moderate income. LA County up to 156,780 is the income, the maximum income that's allowed for them to qualify for the Open Doors program. San Diego is even higher, 166,860. Again, they're all listed on our website based on where the property is located, which county the property is located in. And keep in mind, there are no income limits on the government loans. Carolyn, I have been doing um, your Platinum program, which has the similar income limits. Uh, and I have yet to find a situation where the buyers did not qualify. Uh, but there's one interesting thing that I want to point out when it comes to income qualifications. Uh, you're only using the income for the person that's on the application that's applying for the loan. So if a husband and wife's income exceeds the income limit, and we can qualify that person just on the wife or just on the husband, that is acceptable under this program, correct? Yes, it is. It is based on qualifying income only. So only the person whose income is being used to qualify for the mortgage loan has to meet that limit. Yes. Carolyn, that's fantastic. I love the flexibility of this program. Let's move on to number four, which is various loan types uh, that will work with this down payment assistance. Tell us more about that. Yes, that is correct. Now these are all 30 year fixed rate mortgages. And we've talked about how they can be government loans, FHA, VA, USDA and um, loans, or they can be conventional financing. We use a Freddie Mac fixed rate product. But keep in mind that with the VA and the USDA loans, they actually offer 100% financing, meaning that if someone qualifies for a VA or a USDA loan, they don't have to come in with any down payment. So sometimes people are, are hesitant to utilize a program that's providing down payment assistance when they don't need any money for down. And I want people to realize that, that utilizing an assistance program can actually just supply them with money to help cover their closing costs, or they can even use all of this assistance to lower the principal on their mortgage loan. And that in turn lowers their monthly payment. And the more money that they're putting down on their mortgage loan, that also means that they could have better purchasing power. They might be able to buy a more expensive house or have a higher mortgage loan. And so there's a lot of flexibility depending on whether the borrower is going with a government loan or they're going with conventional financing. But again, they are all 30 year fixed rate terms on these mortgage loans. Thank you for that, Carolyn. Again, uh, incredible flexibility and especially for our veterans uh, who are out there uh, serving our country, uh, they already have a great loan, but now they have even great assistance uh, to add, uh, to make it easier. Uh, in many cases, a seller will participate on VA loans and USDA loans. A seller can, again, credit up to 6% towards their closing costs. But now, uh, in a very tight inventory market, you don't have to ask the seller for anything because you have the support 
of the Golden State Finance Authority to give you the money you need to cover closing costs, to reduce the principal, to increase your purchasing power, all of that and more. I'm just blown away, Carolyn. Every time we go over this, um, we need everyone to know about this. Folks, if you're watching this for the first time, you're probably thinking of a family member or someone that uh, should know about this. Make sure you share this video so others can uh, learn also about the advantages of working with the Golden State Finance Authority. So now we wanna focus on number five, and that is the various uh, property types that are available to purchase under the Golden State Finance Authority program. So Carolyn, what are the various property types? This also is really flexible. We allow for single family residences up to four units. That includes duplexes, triplexes, um, townhomes, condominiums. The one type of property that is not going to qualify under open doors are gonna be manufactured homes. So keep in mind, there is a maximum loan amount for the Open Doors program, and that's 548,250, but that is the first mortgage loan amount. So the sales price of a home that can qualify can be above that, as long as whatever is put down on that property to get that loan amount down to 548,250 is possible. Um, and th this brings up another good point, Eric, is that sometimes people have money to put down on a property. And I, I don't wanna discourage them from applying for a down payment assistance program, because if you can qualify for another 10, 15, $20,000, it can only help you by adding in even more money down and lowering your loan amount. So it isn't just a program for people with no resources for down, they can use their own funds and still qualify for additional assistance um, from the Open Doors program. That is great to know, uh, Carolyn. And uh, again, um, uh, the fact that it's not for first time home buyers, it could be for move up buyers, they have money, maybe from the sale of their home or savings, uh, as opposed to first time, true first time home buyers who've never purchased a home before, uh, they've been struggling trying to save the money. But if you have money already, you can add that to this assistance and just increase your purchasing power. Now, uh, speaking of the down payment, let's get into number six, and that is the flexible terms of the down payment assistance. Tell us more about that. So this program is structured to provide up to 7% in assistance, and that's actually made up of two different buckets of down payment assistance. The first is provided as a deferred second. Up to three and a half percent in assistance is a deferred 30 year second mortgage. What that means is that it doesn't have to be paid back for 30 years or in, unless maybe somebody refinances or, or sells that property. And it's not accruing any interest as a 0% interest on it. So at no point are there payments on it. There's no interest accruing. And it doesn't have to be, that portion doesn't have to be paid back until the end of the 30 years or if the property's sold. But the rest of the assistance is provided as a gift. So another three and a half percent on top of that is provided for down payment and closing cost assistance as a gift on day one. And that portion doesn't have to be paid back at all. Carolyn, I am just uh, blown away. We're talking about 7%. 7% of down payment assistance, three and a half is a deferred loan. So it's a loan, they have to pay it back, but you're not charging them any interest at all. And they don't have to make any payments. I don't know if it gets better than that. Well, it actually does because the other half is the same thing. It's a, it's, it's a gift, it's a gift, but there's no repayment at all, right? No repayment at all, no interest being charged, nothing, it's just a straight up gift of an additional three and a half percent. So on a $500,000 purchase, 7% would be $35,000. That's, that's huge. And only half of that is going to be paid back when they go to sell the property or at the end of the 30 years, the other half is forgiven immediately. So let's talk about that for a moment. When you say uh, pay back, it does have to be paid back and there are no payments and there's no interest. And so the conditions in which a payback is required 
is that they have sold their home, number one. Uh, what if they want to refinance? Will it have to be paid back or will the Golden State subordinate that second? It would have to be paid back in a refinance. Anytime that original mortgage loan gets paid off, whether that's the sale or refinance, that's when that portion of down payment assistance would have to be paid back. Now, what if they move out of the property? Like, do they have to live in the property as a primary residence the entire time? Or if they convert it to a rental property after say a year or so, would it have to be paid back or must they stay in that property? That's a great question. They do not have to pay it back as long as they are continuing to pay on that mortgage loan, they still have that property and that mortgage loan. So what that means is if they turn that into a rental property, moved out, moved into another house, they would not have to pay back that down payment assistance until that property is sold or refinanced. It's a great question. Wow, Carolyn, this is really awesome. Folks, are you hearing what I'm hearing? I wish you could be here, right? Uh, to just ask your questions right now. And in fact, if you're watching us on Facebook, you can put your questions in the chat room. And if you want to meet with me or with Carolyn, go to neverrentagain.com, put in your information, register. You can schedule an appointment there. You can also uh, apply uh, for the loan through First Bank right there and uh, find out what your purchasing power is. Carolyn, this has been just incredible. I'm so glad you're doing this series with us. This is part three, folks. We've covered the Platinum Program. Now we've covered the Open Door Program. So let's move on to how do you apply? How do you get the money? Well, first keep in mind, someone does not need to be a first time home buyer to qualify. Now the property has to be a primary residence being purchased in the state of California. And then they are qualifying for a mortgage loan, which means there's credit qualifying involved. We definitely wanna make sure someone is in a position to be able to afford the monthly payments. The minimum FICO for the Open Doors program is 620. And the maximum debt to income ratio is 55%. Now those are a bit more flexible than with our platinum program, just making this program a little bit more accessible to people. The actual mortgage lender that you can work with is gonna to have to be one of the approved lenders um, listed by GSFA on our website. And of course, you can always go to applytobuynow.com. If you are ready today, you wanna to get pre-approved, you have some questions and you'll get a response within 72 hours. If you have more information or you want more information or you'd like to speak with myself or with Eric, you can go to neverrentagain.com. You can set up an appointment online, register, and we will call you back and get that information to you right away. There you have it, folks. Go to applytobuynow.com and you can work with me. As a mortgage professional for 39 years, I love this program. I specialize in working with first-time home buyers and I can help you get into homeownership this year and 2021. And of course, if you would love to talk with Carolyn and just get more information, you can schedule a time uh, to meet with her or I at neverrenagain.com. Complete the registration form, no obligation whatsoever for the pre-approval under applytobuynow.com or to meet with us or to have further conversations or get more information at neverrenagain.com. Now we can turn your pre-approval around in 72 hours so we can have you out by the weekend uh, looking for homes with down payment assistance. Carolyn, thank you so much for investing your time and efforts to educate uh, consumers, the public, being an advocate for homeownership, uh, and uh, joining us here on the Power Is Now Media to get the information out. Everybody needs to know about the Golden State Finance Authority and the great work they are doing. And I know you told me the other day that you just achieved a new milestone of putting 80 thousand individuals and families into homes using the Golden State Finance Authority. And my question to our listening audience or on a podcast or those who are watching us live on Facebook, why can't that be you? So Carolyn, any final words or comments before we end this show? 
Sure. I really encourage people to reach out because even if you don't think that you're ready today, you might have some questions. You might find out that you're in a better position than you thought. You might find out the down payment assistance and a program as flexible as GSFA's Open Doors program is the right fit for you and really could help you purchase a home today. So reach out to us. Let us get you in touch with a mortgage lender who can really look at your situation look at what your needs are, figure out the best program or options within the program that are that are here to fit your needs and, and help you get started on your way to home ownership. Because today, the rates are amazing. This, this year, they're going to continue. The time to buy is now. I so agree. The power is now to buy. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Remember, we are at our best and we maximize our success when we act now. The power is now. Have a wonderful day. See you right here on Facebook for part four of our series uh, with the Golden State Finance Authority affordable housing series right here on The Power Is Now. The Power Is Now Media is worldwide with growing audience of future home buyers, investors, builders, developers, real estate agents, and brokers. The Power Is Now Media is well positioned to increase awareness and produce results for our growing roster of advertising partners. An advertisement on any of our platforms is the right step toward reaching and communicating key brand messages to a targeted network of individuals, families, and communities interested in housing. Our content areas include feature stories and profiles on successful real estate agents, business owners, government, and community leaders. The Power Is Now magazines are the leading resource for real estate agents, mortgage bankers, entrepreneurs, and small home ownership businesses, providing leaders with business strategy information, resources, and tools through PIN, real estate, and programming guide magazines. Stay up to the minute with real estate and mortgage news and information from industry experts. VIP agents are able to feature listings each week. The Power Is Now TV radio podcast features weekly shows that include Homebuyers Town Hall, Real Estate Roundtable, VIP Agent Spotlight, and so much more. Each week, VIP agents have opportunities to be featured guests on the shows. VIP agents can discuss and showcase houses, neighborhoods, and provide brief introductions. The interviews are unlimited 10 to 15 minutes on each current listing. This product alone separates you from your competition. The Power Is Now delivers to you market update interview to promote listing weekly, promotional biographical video, co-host a bi-monthly homebuyers town hall show, featured subject matter expert on real estate roundtable show, The Power Is Now program guide e-magazine, The Power Is Now national e-magazine, article writing and blogging, social media content customization, inclusion and press releases, graphic design services, business and performance coaching, technology support, referrals, lead generation opportunities, and management support.